Welcome to the Design Master Electrical video tutorial series. This series will show you how to start a new project, use alignment points in your drawings, create and manage panels and other distribution equipment, generate and modify a one-line diagram, create light fixtures and receptacles, circuit devices, create and circuit equipment connections and switches, and perform point-by-point -point photometrics. If you'd like to follow along, links to the written tutorial and project files can be found in the description at the bottom of this page. This video covers starting a new project and alignment points. Let's get started. Throughout this series, we'll be using drawings that include the architect's drawings as XREFs. This ensures that the changes we make will not affect the original drawings and that we can modify the project as the design changes without needing to start over each time. To begin a new electrical project, run the Start New Electrical Project command. Here, you can name the project and see where the project database file will be created. You can also select a standards database, device groups, and room types which are used to import predefined customizations, devices, and room definitions. For now, we'll press the OK button to use the default settings. This will create a .dm file in the same folder as the current drawing. Additional drawings saved to this folder will use the same database. This means device schedules will be shared across all drawings in the folder. If you move the drawings to a new location, you must move the .dm file as well. Alignment points act as the origin for design master entities. Alignment points are also used to measure distances between devices that are on different plans or drawings. Make sure that your alignment points are inserted in the same location on all plans in the project. Alignment points are inserted on the drawing using the Insert Alignment Point command. Here, you can set the elevation for the alignment point relative to the ground. For this alignment point, we'll leave the elevation at 0 and press the OK button. Specify a point on the drawing where the alignment point will be inserted. We'll use this corner of the building. Rotate the alignment point so it points north. We will now insert alignment points on other drawings in the project. Run the Insert Alignment Point command. Set the elevation to 15 and press the OK button. Insert the alignment point on the same corner of the building as the first alignment point. Place a third alignment point in this drawing as shown. You can verify its elevation using the Query Alignment Point command. As you can see, the elevation for this alignment point is zero. For this drawing, we've already placed one alignment point on the first floor with an elevation of zero. We will now place a second point. Run the Insert Alignment Point command. Set the elevation to 15 and press the OK button. After you place the alignment point, you will then be asked to define the alignment point area. Draw a box around the entire second floor. Entities placed inside this box will be associated with this alignment point. Entities placed outside the box will be associated with the first alignment point. This concludes part one of the electrical video tutorial series. In the next video, we'll cover how to create and manage panels and other distribution equipment.